Right, today's lesson is talking all about driver versus iron and how spine angle can really affect your angle of attack because it's a big one and if we don't get it right and one common theme I'm seeing from a lot of um, high handicappers or even down to some good players with the driver especially is making them hit poor drives just by getting a poor spine angle. So let's dive into this lesson and see what we need to do. Okay, so angle of attack. For those who don't know, the angle of attack is the way the golf club is traveling into impact and hitting the golf ball. So with a driver to an iron, it actually differs. With a driver, we'd like to see that we hit it on the up, so an ascending angle of attack. We'd wanna see that generally, if you looked at people, who are hitting good drives, long drives, they're about two, three, four degrees on the up. And then if we went back to a six iron here with an iron, what we'd notice is it's a descending angle of attack. So that means that the club's actually still traveling downwards as it impacts the golf ball. And you'd see a PGA Tour averages for minus 4.1 degrees as they get their six iron into impact. So it's a little bit different. Let's call it eight degrees between driver to six iron so in setup we've got to make sure we're doing the right thing to actually promote these angles of attack otherwise you could have every intention of actually hitting up on your driver but the way you stood to it isn't really going to allow you to do it so you'd have to make some manipulations throughout the golf swing to try and actually get that positive angle of attack in the same with the iron you actually might be tilting back and doing some different things that aren't going to enable you to get that descending blow on it so if we just run through the six iron firstly i'll just pop my driver down here if i were to actually address a golf ball here now what we'd see and you're gonna be happy in a moment, you're not gonna to have to look at my face for much longer when I turn around. What we'd see here is as I address this now, if I were to just actually hold a, um, a cane on my spine angle and turn around for you, here we can see that this is quite level now, it's not tilting backwards and it's not tilting forwards it's actually quite neutral and you'd see that my shoulders also are quite neutral through there so as I would address the golf ball with this neutral spine angle here what that would allow me to do once I've made my turn and then shift in ever so slightly I'm going to be able to actually hit down on the golf ball a little bit more. If I was leaning back this way, if we thought of throwing something under arm and I was trying to throw it up onto a shelf that was 10 foot above me, I wouldn't throw down this way. I wouldn't go to the ground. I'd actually probably lean back and actually release my arm up this way and you can see there now that I've got this tilting back action so with the iron we'd want to see that we get a pretty neutral spine angle we'd see it level here and we'd see the shoulders pretty level now obviously when we grip it unless you're a cack handed player your trail hand goes below your lead hand so what we'd see ever so slightly from that image there now is that the right shoulder for me as a right-handed player is just a little bit lower than my left shoulder basically because I've got my uh, right hand underneath the left hand on the grip but still maintaining this very neutral spine angle and we would see that from sand wedge all the way up towards this let's call it four iron your highest iron we'd see that we've got a pretty neutral spine angle all the time obviously as the ball moves forwards to our longer irons we might see a slight bit of tilt there we might see that it's starting to work backwards but it would be nowhere near where the driver would be we'd see a minimal amount of lean and just a minimal amount of tilt of the shoulders again because we're always trying to get this downwards attack we want to see that it be with a pitching wedge like four and a half working up to about two and a half with a four iron right? seeing that we get ball then divot by getting this actual lean and feeling that the spine's quite neutral if anything it would tilt ever so slightly into impact because we extend our left side or our lead side and we get a little bit of bend in our trail side but we wouldn't be trying to help this ball up in the air because of the loft and the grooves on the golf club. So now the big issue I see with a lot of people with driver, sometimes they, without maybe even knowing, understanding the difference between the iron swing and the driver swing, firstly, they stand to it 
like an iron. So we would see that here I had a six iron out a moment ago. We see the ball just in front of my, uh, my center of my body here towards the left side, towards my target side. And we see that I've got a pretty neutral spine angle and I've got pretty neutral shoulders here. So knowing that we want to hit the driver on the up, that's not really gonna help us do that. What we would see maybe is something that, knowing that we wanna do it, I might back out now to try and actually get a little bit of upwards motion as I come to hit it. Or if I was unaware and un unable to make that manipulation, I'd get something where I'd start to sky my drives quite a lot because I'd be coming down and hitting down into the ground. So if you're someone who's doing that, you know, who you're breaking a lot of tees and you're skying a lot of drives, the one that goes, you know, 100 foot up in the air and only 50 foot forwards, firstly, check that ball position because that's going to influence your spine angle. What we would want to see would be that the ball now would be placed towards the lead side of our stance. It would be inside our lead heel. So then I can start to lean my shoulders. Oh, I can lean my shoulders up, get a little bit of tilt this way and see that I get my spine angle actually tilted behind. So if I address this and turn again for you, what we would see now, if I just pop this up my back, if I was hitting this way, as opposed to it being in the middle here, if I had it at the front, I'd want to see that it would start to tilt back because that would allow me to get this upwards angle of attack on the golf ball. Now, one problem that I see as well, the one that I was talking about earlier, with us being a normal golf, uh, normal golfer who grips it normally, like I say, a little bit different for the cat hander, the trail hand goes underneath the lead hand. So we see people put the ball in the right spot, get a little bit of lean. We see now that my shoulders are tilted, but because I have to lean over to now get my hand on the grip here, I have to bring my right hand, my trail hand across my body. What you can see from here now it's actually taken away all the angles that I created just a moment ago. My shoulders are almost down. My spine, if anything, is actually tilted towards the target. And you'd see it from here, as I grip, grip this way, you can see now that it's changed. My spine angle has now gone to here, just by simply dragging the trail hand across my body. So one big key thing you've got to make sure when you address your driver, we're going to take it, make sure ball's inside the lead heel. We're going to try and get this little bit of tilt, but then as we do it, we want to feel that the right shoulder or our trail shoulder isn't coming out in front. So this way, if you were someone who was a big slicer of the golf ball, you might notice your friend say, oh, you look like you're aiming left. Your feet can be parallel to your target, but then the shoulder would be really open your shoulder line would be open because of you dragging this trail shoulder in front to try and get your hand on the grip so you've got to try and make sure you actually readjust it'll feel like you're turning your shoulder blades a little bit to see that when you address it now you still maintain the tilt in the shoulders and you've also got that little bit of lean in the spine angle here because that's going to help us get the correct angle of attack on the golf ball and see that we start hitting better drives so let's see if i can put that into play i've got the gorgeous 12th hole here at La Cala. Nice little driving number. I'm gonna be here. See that I get my tilt behind it, ball's in the right spot, and my shoulders now aren't pulling open. I'm gonna be here, and it's gonna help me raise up on this drive. So, nice little draw down the right-hand side. Beautiful. Wow can hit draws in videos, unbelievable. So if you're someone who's really struggling to hit your driver or you didn't know the difference between your iron and your driver swing, run through that video a few times. See that you're getting these spine angles correct. Get your ball position right, then get the tilt of the shoulders and the lean of the spine correct and make sure you're not opening your shoulders out by dragging that trail shoulder and hand across your body too much. Watch out, you're not doing it and it's causing you some poor drives. Give it a watch again.
Give that like button a click if you understood that and enjoyed it. Also, if you do want me to become your golf coach, remember, oh, don't drop your club, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification DJ so you don't miss any future lessons. A big thank you to Lacala for having me out this week. The weather's been gorgeous when it's awful at home, making loads of content to come throughout the winter for you guys to help you improve your golf. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next lesson.